Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. It's Tuesday. Every Tuesday we are live on Facebook and Instagram to answer your entrepreneurial questions and just to share some entrepreneurial insights, um, thinking, mindset and ideas uh, that we can talk about and that you can think about for the week and uh, so that we can have a conversation. Um, guys, so this week, I just I have a surprise for you. We're going to talk a bit about some of the personal stuff I do in my life and still do and had a lot of value for me from the start uh, that I'm going to share with you that you can maybe also implement in your life. So it's going to be cool. It's going to be something else. and It's going to be uh, personal, but we'll get to that just now. Just before that, a few announcements. Uh, this August is very busy. Uh, we're going to be at Ediplex uh, High School on Thursday. Friday, we're in Pretoria North at a primary school. Uh, then we're leaving for Clarence, Lesotho, back in Clarence. Then on the 30th of August, we're in Middleburg for an event. So if you're in Middleburg, make sure you check out my Facebook page and Instagram page to, to find out about that event. And then we're coming to Springs Boys High at the end of August as well. And then again at Eduplex on the 27th of August as well. So uh, busy August. So if you're in one of these areas, I'll post the post soon where I'm going to be. Make sure to check out and to join in. Cool guys. Uh, John, uh, Leon and Zander, thanks for joining on the live session. We'll talk about it live and we can talk about it uh, on the live session. So today I've got a surprise for you. Um, so normally in my wallet, and I still carry it today, in my wallet inside, I have this. It is an affirmation little pamphlet as well as sugar sachets, <laughs> okay? Positive sugar sachets and uh, affirmation thing. And I've started doing this um, in the beginning of my entrepreneurial journey. So I started doing that and uh, you know reading these affirmations to myself i used to do it every morning when i get up every morning first thing in the morning i would read these affirmations to myself and then at the end of the day before i go to sleep i would read these affirmations to myself and it worked so well and it installed a, a different mindset a different belief in yourself a different level of confidence over time if you keep on doing it for two or three years it becomes real realistic in your life and you see it everywhere you go but I still keep it in my wallet and sometimes I still take it I don't do it every day anymore uh, but sometimes I still take it out and go through it and read it and just see how that changes your attitude for the day your energy for the day your willpower for the day immediately so I want you guys to, to listen what we're going to do right now. I'm going to read you a lot of them, a few of them, and then you can maybe do the same in your life. It's so critical that we have some positive thinking in our mind, that we have some positive thoughts and words uh, over our lives and our journey, uh, because life is negative enough and people are negative enough. So you need to be so much joining in. So let's get right on it. So I'm going to start with the sugar sachets that I have in my wallet. Uh, the first one is, believing in negative thoughts is the single greatest obstruction to success. Believing in negative thoughts is the single greatest obstruction to success. So true, huh? So true. And then the next one is, every day of your life, is a page of your history if you think about it that way uh, page you're creating history every day um, try to be now what you will be hereafter that's a cool one become now what you will be hereafter so if you were if you're trying to become that financial successful guy or that CEO or that business or that pro entrepreneur whatever Start becoming that today, even if it's on a small scale, so that you do now what you will be doing hereafter. That's, that's kind of cool. That's, that's deep. Um, 
learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is never to stop questioning. That's something I like to do a lot and I, and I tend to irritate people with my questioning. But I would always ask, why? How come? What's the reason? You know, it's very, very important to keep on questioning because then you challenge your mind all the time um, to think of answers and solutions. Um, if a man does not make new acquaintances as he advances through life, he will soon find himself alone. A man should keep his friendships in constant repair. So keep on making new friends and meeting new people as you progress through life, as you move uh, through life and your life and you uh, change yourself. You need to constantly update that. Uh, the greatest discovery of any generation is that a human can alter his life by altering his attitude. Very, very cool. By altering your attitude, you can alter your life because whatever you put out there normally comes back to you. So by having a different outlook, a different attitude, a different energy in life, things around you will always change. And I can, I can uh, agree with that in my personal experience. Uh, John, Leon, Zander, Elizna, Simon, uh, Yanita and Aljuan. Guys, if you're liking this live session, send the shop through so I know I'm on the right track. Today, I'm sharing a bit of my personal stuff that I do uh, in, in my personal journey that can benefit you in some way. And I took out my wallet today and in my wallet, I have these sugar sachets and uh, affirmation little you know piece uh, of paper that I used to read to myself every morning and every evening. And I'm going through that a bit today just to show you what it is and how it works and what it can do for you. Uh, this one says, uh, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. So whenever you feel like, hey, I'm not confident about this, think about the dream and go confidently there. This one says, what a man thinks of himself, that is what determines or rather indicates his fate. Very deep. What a man thinks about himself is what determines or rather indicates his fate. So this is very cool. And then the last one, uh, believe in your heart that you are meant to live a full uh, life of passion, purpose, magic and miracles. Very cool. So whenever I'm in a restaurant, I will take a few sash or, or sashes when I drink my coffee. I drink my coffee with two sugars. So then I will take and I would read. And if, it's, if it hits me here, I will, I will keep it in my wallet. And I will then read it uh, every now and then just to instill that positive mindset, that positive attitude. Because if I'm smiling, if I'm positive, if I'm going through life with momentum, the people around me will start to smile, will start to go with that momentum, uh, will start to work with me instead of against me. You can try this on anyone. Walk in the street and give a big smile. Okay? <laughs> a big smile. You'll see immediately that person smiles back at you. Okay? Even if it's a really grumpy person, they'll have some smirk or something. You'll have an effect on that person by just smiling at them. And therefore, if you change your mindset and you have these affirmations and these thinking patterns and you walk through life and you smile and you're positive and you have um, momentum behind you, people will follow along and they will join you and they will work with you. Um, Aljuan is saying, Ek moet gaan werk, seker maak, jy kan live stream. Cool, Aljuan. You can always catch the live session again at the top in my story um, if you want to watch it from the start. So let's look at this. This one I have since I started uh, my entrepreneurial journey. When I was very young, I started reading this thing to myself every morning and every day. Because remember, when you come from a, a household that was not wealthy, that's not a generation of wealth, that's not, you know, already confident in terms of finance, it's very important to change the way you think about finance and money. And therefore this helped me a lot to think of myself differently in terms of finance and uh, success in terms of that. So for example, one, I am an excellent money manager. Okay. Two, I always pay myself first. 
Three, I put money into my financial freedom fund every day. Four, money, my money works hard for me and makes me more and more money. Saying things like that makes you think differently about your own situation and then you start to believe this and then you start to implement it without even thinking of it. I earn enough passive income to pay for my desired lifestyle. I'm financially free. I work because I choose to, not because I have to. Uh, my part-time business is managing and investing my money and creating passive income streams. I create my life. I create my exact amount of my financial success. Um, I admire and model rich and successful people. I believe money is important, money is freedom, and money makes life more enjoyable. I get rich doing what I love. I'm a generous giver. Um, I'm truly grateful for all of the money I have right now. Lucrative opportunities always comes my way. My capacity to earn, hold, and grow money expands day by day. Cool. So it's just a little piece of paper like this. And all of those things written on here, if you do it over and over again, it gets instilled in your mind. And your mind starts to believe it. And your mind starts to work differently. Uh, for example, if you force a smile, let's say you're not happy, right? You don't feel like smiling and you force a smile, right? You force a smile. Because your muscles is smiling, your brain thinks that because you are smiling, you should be happy. And then your brain starts releasing happy chemicals. And before you know it, you will start smiling naturally. You can try that. If you're not in a mood for laughing, do a fake laugh. And you'll see, I do it a lot. I do a <laughs> fake laugh. And you'll see the people around me starts laughing. And then I start laughing really, like a, a genuine laugh. Because my brain hears the laugh, he sees the laugh, and decides that he needs to release the chemicals because I should be happy, I'm laughing, right? And then I receive happy chemi chemicals in my, in my body. It's, just, it's a physical process. And that is how this works as well. You, you say these words about yourself. You talk about these things. You have these affirmations. And then your body, your brain, your physical human being starts believing it and starts acting that way. And because you are saying it, so um, it must be true for your body. John, Leon, Zander, Elizna, Simon, Yanita, Aljuan, um, in Anri, uh, Benko. Thank you so much for joining on the live session today. I think it was an interesting session. I shared some of my personal things that I carry in my wallet, that I read to myself uh, whenever I feel a bit low on motivation and energy and willpower. And maybe that can have, I'm, sh or I'm sure it can have a big difference in your life. So take a little piece of paper, write down some affirmations for you, or you can just Google and find some cool affirmations, or take your dreams or things you want to become, write them down, or save some sugar sachets like I do. And then try to start doing it on a daily basis. I did it for a long time on a daily basis and see how that changes your behavior and your environment and the people around you. Guys, have an awesome week and good luck with your entrepreneurial journey, businesses and side hustle. Just go for it.